Hello my people, welcome to Mama Africa's Kitchen again. Today I'm going to show you how to make a collard green. So first you wash it, you wash them, then cut the stem, then you go, you cut it like this. Yeah. People always ask me how you make it. Every time I went to a store, they asked me, oh, how do you make collard green? How do you cook it? Is it a, is it a salad or what? I told them, no, we cook it. Like where I came from, this is our... This is our staple side this dish. This is our staple side dish. You can't eat anything without collard green. Mm -hmm. You have to have it. Why? They like healthy stuff. And collard green is one of it's the best, best, best nutrients. Is this like cutting cabbage or something? Yeah, it's like cutting cabbage. Exactly like cutting cabbage. Mm -hmm. Look at it. Look at it. It's not hard to make. If you don't want to make good food, you are just lazy. Are they squeezing it hard so it doesn't punch apart? Not really. No. It's, it's very easy. Very easy to cut. Very easy. This is it. Then you do like this because you don't want them to be too long when you are eating them. So you just do that. It, guys. That's it. It's not hard. You see? If you don't want to eat healthy, you are just late. <laughs> You're cancelled. <laughs> so why are they being put here? So right now I'm put I'm putting them here because I have still more to cut. Then after that I'll show you how to cook it. So I have to cut them first, all of it. Mm -hmm. Don't be lazy, my people. You can eat healthy. This is how you used to eat back home, so stop being lazy. Eat healthy. I'm so sensitive. Going to it. No, no, no. So how are you? Are you pushing down, front to back? Cut? Yeah, you just push it like that and hold it tight. Like what? Like up and down, front to back? Just like, just straight like that. Just cut it straight. Look at it, look at it, look at it. So next time when you see me buying it, don't ask. Now you know how to make it. You have no excuse. Mm -hmm. I see people complain, oh my God, I miss food from home. You have them here. Yes, that's an excuse. You have everything here. Wherever you, you are in the world, you can get collard green. Wherever you are. Again, I'm rechopping them just to make them smaller. Yeah. So you have to rechop to make them small. Otherwise, they are long. So it's not easy to eat when they are long like that. So this is it, my people. It's all done. So I'll show you how to cook it now. So this is our collard green, this is onion, this is tomatoes, this is my beef, beef stock. I usually use, uh, when you are using beef stock, don't use uh, salt because they already have a lot of salt. But you can use any cube you like, if you like chicken cubes, you like lamb cube, whatever you like. But for me, I like beef cubes. It works for me. It's so tasty. So try beef cubes and leave your comment. You can use any kind of onions you like, white onions, yellow onions, red onions, green onions, it doesn't matter what kind of onions you want. Any onions works, so it's up to you. It doesn't matter. And if you don't like tomatoes, don't put tomatoes. It's not a must. So go with what you like, but try this and see and leave a comment. Don't put too much oil, just enough to cover the bottom of the pot, like this is enough. Don't put too much. Then I like a lot of onions though. So that's my onion. So make sure you brown your onion first before, before you put tomatoes and vegetables. So let it brown. I'll show you when it's brown. Just leave it, let it brown. So our onions are already brown. Now you can add your tomatoes. 
these cubes. So it's a good idea to break them up before yeah. you. Break them up before you put them in. Why? Because it's easy to dissolve. Mm -hmm. They dissolve faster that way. Look at it, guys. Look. This is it. And make sure they are all melted. Mm -hmm. Like I said, they, they have a lot of salt. You don't need salt at all. No salt at all. Now you add your vegetable. Just keep adding. Don't overcook your vegetable. I like them green. I'm gonna show you after. And you can add a little bit of water. Just a little bit. So what's the technique for mixing the vegetables? I mean, yeah, in with the stuff at the bottom, the onion, tomato. Just uh, keep on flipping. You flip it like that. Till they are all mixed together. Let it mix together. And it's about 10-15 minutes. Don't overcook. For me, I like it green. I want my vitamins. So don't overcook. Don't destroy the vitamin by overcooking it. You want it fresh and green. So in five minutes, I'll take it out. That's it. See how it's looking good already? Now that you can see, mm, look at it, guys. It's fully cooked now. Coming out. Now it's ready. You can see the way it's, it looks. You can see the textures. You can see everything. You see. So this is fully, fully cooked. So we don't have to overcook it. So turn it off. Then now we can serve our guest. We can put it in a bowl. Mm. Your guest will love you for this. Believe me. Mm. So give me thumbs up, please. And write a comment. Tell me how you make yours. Show me how you make yours. This is how I make mine. So you can eat with rice, you can eat with ugali, plus the chicken. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for uh, watching. Subscribe for more videos, please. And let me know how you cook yours.